Hello and uh, here is another request from a subscriber who wants to know how to put slots in a cylindrical rod. Let's start by making a rod with a circle and we'll make a 10 millimeters diameter and we'll pull it up uh, 30. We'll start off by putting some grooves around the outside and then later on we'll put a groove down the length of it. So we'll do the first one by using the pull tool, select the edge then there's a tool here, copy edge. So we we'll copy the edge and we'll get these arrows pointing and we can pull that edge down and if we hold down the control key and pull again down we get another edge and we'll make that distance two so now we've got a section here we can click and we can pull it it's in the diameter the radius is five which is right of course so if we want to make it a groove, we can say, right, we want that to be 3. Now we've got the groove. That's one way of making a groove. Here is another way. Select tool. Now we see we've got a center line down here. So if we highlight the center line and press K for sketch, it puts a sketch plane down the center of the part. V brings it nicely facing us. And we can draw any shape we like, be it a circle or a hexagon or an ellipse even. We'll make life simpler and put a circle. So we can put a, a circle on there. and P for pull there we see our circle make sure that you select the full face of the circle and that the arrow is pointing tangentially from the surface but we're not going to pull it straight out we're going to pull it circular revolve it with that tool there choose the axis to rotate on, there it is, turns green and we're going to put this groove all of the way around the outside so this is the full pull tool by the way we want to take metal away so we'll click on the negative sign and click the full pull and there we have a circular groove. As I said, just because it's cute, we'll use a different tool. We'll use the polygon. That'll do. Pull. Click so that the arrow is facing straight out. Okay. And then click the axis. You want it to turn green. Cut. Full. That's a different. There you are, a different kind of groove. Now then, suppose you wanted to groove along the length of the rod. We can select the end. And 
and what kind of a groove shall we have this time? We'll have a rectangle. Suppose you want to put a keyway in. So we select a rectangle, perhaps. Cool. Negative. Now that we can either pull it all the way through or just say however far we want, say 10. And now we've got a slot along its length, a keyway. Now we can either start the slot from right from the end or we can move the rectangle we've put in here. Now you'll have to select both parts of it, so we would just want to move it, we don't want to pull anything yet, so we'll just say select, control key, and select the other part. Then the move tool, and then move it as far as we need. Now look here, it's turned into two surfaces now, because it's been intersected by the material. So if we now select the pull tool and find the bit we think we need, which is that one, we can pull it. Now, because we want to put a slot in, we need to cut material away and then drag along We'll say 10 with a 10. And now we put a, a slot in. With square corners, of course. And to make it look as though it was milled in by a milling machine, we just round off the corners inside. So with the pull tool selected, select the corner, Control key hold down, select the other corner, then left click and pull until the lines meet up. And there is a rounded slot. Get rid of that surface. Now, round at one end, square corners at the other. Hope you find that interesting and useful and please subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye.